Just when you thought Democrat hypocrisy couldn't sink any lower, they trotted out former President Barack Obama to try and rescue Terry McAuliffe's floundering campaign for Virginia governor. So we're at a turning point right now, both here in America and around the world. Because there's a mood out there. We see it, right? There, there's a politics of, of meanness and division and conflict of tribalism and cynicism. Oh, he's against meanness and division and conflict and tribalism and cynicism. So why did he say this in the same speech? We don't have time to be f wasting on these phony, trumped-up culture wars, this fake outrage that, that right-wing media's peddles to juice their ratings. Fake outrage? So a father protests his daughter's school, covering up the fact that she was raped in a bathroom there. He's arrested. Not any of the school bureaucrats who covered it up. The father whose daughter was raped, he's arrested. Smeared by MSNBC and CNN and the media as some kind of racist. Then his case is used to smear parents right across the country as domestic terrorists, which is in turn used by Biden's Justice Department to threaten parents who protest woke indoctrination in their schools with the FBI, all by an attorney general whose family is profiting from the exact same woke indoctrination that the parents are protesting. And Obama calls it fake outrage. He condemns meanness and division and conflict and tribalism and cynicism. If there's a worse example of all those things than that speech by Obama, let us know what it is. Unlike Obama, I think it's important to be fair. So I'll say this. It's obvious that Obama is a devoted father and family man. In that respect, a great role model. What would he have done? What would he have said if it was one of his daughters that had been raped at school and the school covered it up? We're talking about the rape of a child, and Obama calls it fake outrage. That's not just an outrage, it's an obscenity. And he dares to criticize Republicans for being mean and cynical. I'm done with these Democrats. Pathological hypocrisy. No more lectures on hate and division from the people who play the race card at every opportunity. No more lectures on misinformation from the people who claim trillions of dollars equals zero. No more lectures on compassion from the people who incentivize human trafficking. No more lectures on saving democracy from the people who push ballot harvesting. No more lectures on gerrymandering from the people who just carved up the Illinois congressional map to save their own seats. No more lectures on climate from the people who beg OPEC to pump more oil. No more lectures on the debt limit from the people who voted against raising it time after time after time. No more lectures from these Democrats. They're the ones dividing America. They're the ones pushing hate for political power. They're the ones hurting the poorest and most vulnerable. They have no place on the moral high ground, and it's time we all said so. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.